What is up YouTube and in today's video we're gonna be vlogging my senior night for swim and swim for strawberry crest high school and yeah we're just gonna vlog and see what's up all right I got all set up my strawberry crest polo I'm gonna pull up with foam runners um yeah <laughs> they gave me this senior um like flag oh how does it call it lash I don't know. It's a Strawberry Crest 2024, class of 2024. It has my name on it. Um, let's get it. On my way to senior night. She got, got a of, basket. She got, she got all of them. You're insane, chat. You're the first sign. Chat, check me out. I got the TYR right here, man. <laughs> All right, so we're going to go through, and we have a huge senior class in case you guys didn't notice, 11 swimmers. That might be the biggest senior class that I'm aware of that we've had at the school since we've been in existence. First, I'd like to introduce Andreas Luna, escorted by his parents. Yeah. Woo. Andreas has only been swimming with Crest for one year. However, he is not new to swimming. He's been swimming club for about seven years. Um, he goes to a, a private school, and um, he was originally swimming for Brandon High School, but by ways of FHSAA, we had some rule changes that allowed him to go to another school to swim, and he chose Strawberry Crest. He's got a great group of guys that he has bonded with. They have a great relay team going, and they're looking forward to killing it at, at districts and regionals, and, and obviously we have a goal to make it to states, and we're so excited for them. Andreas has a uh, approximately 4.0 GPA. Okay. He is a worship leader and vocalist at Bell Shoals. And he has over 500 subscribers, and he's very proud of this. <laughs> <laughs> On his YouTube channel named Swims with a Z, in case you want to follow it. Swim. Swim. <laughs> Andreas's favorite events, no surprise, are sprint events, 50, 300, 300 fly. And he wants to continue this um, next year to better his times in swimming. He hopes to continue studying um, worship and music studies. He would like to go into marketing and eventually become an investor and realtor. Okay, 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 yeah. <laughs> All right, you guys, this is my first individual event, the 50 freestyle after the relay I just did with my team. And in this race, you give it your all because it's a sprint event. So it's only two laps and this guy did beat me to the wall right here. I did try to accelerate as much as I could. Almost there, almost finishing the race. You push as hard as you can. I see the guy next to me. I swim as hard as I can and he does outtouch me by hundredths of a second. All right, now this is my second individual event, which is the 100 freestyle, one of my best events, which is four laps in the 25 yard pool. And right now I'm thinking I'm gonna give it my all. This is my last dual meet. And I'm still kind of heated that I got out touched in the 50 freestyle. So I'm like, I do not care. I'm giving it my all. I did reach first in the second wall over there. And I am breathing to my left. So I see my opponent right there head to head. And my legs are on fire. I barely went to swim practice that week. And I'm like, I don't care. I am winning this race. I'm giving it my all. And I do end up winning that race. 
Anyways, you guys, that does conclude the normal high school season. My first and last high school season for me swimming in Strawberry Crest. It was truly an answered prayer. Swimming with my teammates that I have swam with all my life that I truly love with all my heart. We all did an amazing job and had so much fun this high school season. And I cannot ask for a better team that I could have been a part of. The next swim meet after the senior night was districts, which I did go at best time in the 100 free. But throughout that time, I was experiencing a lot of back pain and starting to notice some flu symptoms. Regardless, I still gave it my 100% and still managed to get a best time regardless of the terrible third wall of the 100 free. I did end up getting the flu, so I was not able to participate in regionals, even though I placed second in the 100 free and qualified for both my individual events and my 200 free relay, which did have a chance to make it a states, but God had other plans. And I have no regrets. I enjoyed every single second of this high school season, and I'm extremely grateful for God and all of the people that were a part of it. Just a special shout out to my coach that I really do appreciate and all of my teammates that push me to be stronger both in high school season and in club. To my parents, to Captain Sam for selecting me for this little trophy that I got for Captain's Choice. And just like that, I'm officially leaving this swimming high school chapter behind and here to a great future. Peace.